Let me read the let me read the title of her article. Do it. The title is Carl Lentz and the Hot Pastor Problem. The hot pastor problem. And I'm sure you totally relate to this having been the hot Being pastor, a hot pastor? At your oh, church. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I knew I knew exactly where you were going with that. And let me tell you, it it's painful. Someone it's has a to big do problem. it. Problem. <laughs> I know. So when I when I quit, I really had to ugly myself down, which is yeah. actually okay, we are recording this, so maybe I'll put a little clip and people can see yeah. what I look like while I'm recording this. And yeah, I'm trying I wish so you hard could not see to be my computer. Pastor. Because you actually are wearing the same, oh, the so same pattern funny. as the Carl red buffalo Lentz chest. Is Carl, yes. Oh my gosh. The sign of a hot a, pastor. I'm taking a screenshot of that right now. That's hysterical. Oh my gosh. It's, it is the quintessential hot pastor um, print, is the red, red buffalo, buffalo. check. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I loved this. I loved the title of it, and I immediately reached out to all the pastors that I have worked with. Yes, girl, with your buffalo blood, hot pastor problems. Um, So I reached out to several of the pastors that I have worked with, and I sent this article, and I said, this is what we're doing our next podcast on. What are your thoughts? And every dude was like, oh, so that's what people were tripping up about was how hot I was <laughs> from the pulpit. No egos, yeah. no egos in pastors at all, no, ever. No egos. Oh, man. But I thought it was interesting. I'll be honest. I've never once, not one time, thought there's a problem with hot pastors in this world. 